Hello. Disclaimer. The asset building technique I'm about to show you isn't mine. It's from Jaya Medina's video. I highly recommend watching it if you get stuck as it is far more in-depth. I'll link it in the description. To summarize, create a texture atlas. You can use Photoshop to do this, or Creator if you're broke like me. Create a blank 4K image and fill it with a concrete grey. Bring in some concrete textures and start blending them with the grey background. We want about 70% of the atlas to be different types of concrete, and the remaining 30% to be detailed, greeble, or techy looking pieces. I used mostly images from textures.com, specifically from the heavy machinery and aircraft sections. Once you're happy with your atlas, save it as a PNG and bring it into Blender. Create a cube, give it a new material, and assign the atlas as the albedo. Now scale the cube roughly into a building shape. Apply the scale with Control A. This is the magic step. Add a mirror modifier, select either the X or the Y axis, and check Bisect. This will mirror our texture across and give us that sci-fi symmetry. Now enter edit mode, select all of the faces and hit the U key. For this particular workflow, we'll mostly be using cube unwrap, project from view, and cylinder unwrap. Select your preferred unwrap method, then open the UV tab and slide the faces around until we have something interesting. Now we just add edge loops using the texture as a guide. Select some of the faces and extrude them outwards or inwards. Repeat these steps until you have a blocky, futuristic building. If you're not happy with the texture, reproject the UVs and move them somewhere else. This process is super fast and fun. While working, I often turn correct face attributes on and off for different results. I'll also toggle show overlays when I need to see the texture better. We can duplicate our building, apply the mirror modifier, change the scale, reproject the UVs, and slide them somewhere else. This is how we can add tons of detail really quickly. Now we can add a new mirror modifier and use the eyedropper to set the origin of the mirror to the main structure. Let's squish this part down and use an array modifier to add some extra flaws here. Reproject the UVs again to keep leveling up the complexity. Throw some antennas on the roof. These are from my free building pack on Patreon. For a cylindrical building, the process is the same, only instead of using cube project, we'll use cylinder project. Once you're happy with the building, select all the pieces and right click, convert to mesh. This applies all of the modifiers. Then join them together using Control J. Finally, tab into edit mode, select all of the vertices and hit M, merge by distance. Drag the merge distance value up to remove any overlapping vertices and clean up the mesh. To level up the material, plug the color into the roughness channel and control it with a color ramp. Then plug the color into the height socket of a bump node. Plug this into the normal socket. You can also try playing with the metallic slider or make multiple atlas textures for even more variety. Once you're happy with your asset library, start placing the buildings around the scene to block out the city. For vast, sprawling slums, you can use a particle system or geometry nodes. It's a good idea to look at reference here. I'm using PureRef to keep everything in a single window. To add some fog, scale up a cube, open the object properties and set the display mode to bounds. Give it a new material, delete the principal BSDF and add a principled volume into the volume socket. Now adjust the density. The neon signs are just planes with an emissive material. I made another atlas image using a bunch of different advertisements. I also modelled a simple frame for each. To add window lights, I made yet another atlas image. The black levels are crushed, so when we plug this into the emission strength, we control which areas will be lit. Add this to the original material using an add shader. If you add a math node set to multiply into the emission strength, you can easily turn the lights on or off. Now we can experiment with different camera angles and lighting setups to get all sorts of cool images. If you don't want to make these assets yourself, you can download them from my Patreon linked in the description. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone. I hope you found the video helpful.